Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, Esoteric Cloud Surfer here, ready to take a ride in Esoteric Cloud, which is a lighter, less dense and also vibing on a higher frequency and vibration vehicle in comparison, in comparison with the body, mind and emotions that you are using right now. So when your, your, when your spirit jumps into an, a, an esoteric cloud, it can float to higher, more expander, wider and wiser realms of reality. So you can look at your circumstances and you can look at yourself on a higher perspective and feel higher and lighter about yourself as well. So this is a quick short video, a quick short message message about the North Node and the North Node energy, right? So what is the North Node? The North Node is your spiritual path, is the things that your spirit never experienced or never, or it does, it, it does not experience those things in a very, very long time. So it forgot, it uh, uh, gave away its membranes, its vessels, its clots that knew how to behave on those waters. Those, your spirit knew how to be seen in certain lights, your spirit knew how to move in certain way, to, be, to feel comfortable, to be in a high position, to feel excited in a certain space. Okay, so wherever your North Node is, that's the area of your life, your house, and the way you do it, the sign that you don't know how to do yet, or you know, but just like 1% or 2%, so you are interested in that area, but you feel uncomfortable because it's new to do, it's dark over there. There is no light, you have no example, even if you receive an example, even if, if there is an example in that area, you can see it, you don't have the right organs, you don't have the right vessels to receive those lights, to receive those examples. So even if there are 1000 examples, 1000 stars in that space, you will not be able to perceive it. So you feel alone, not supported, nobody understands you, no, nobody can relate with you, you can't relate with nobody, it seems only you have those problems in the world, things like that, right? And the thing is, people, person, people, places and things that share you, the energy of your um, North Node in one of their alignments, especially Sun, Moon and Rising, right? they can make you feel nervous as well or they can make you feel uncomfortable or they can make you feel weird and, and you don't know why sometimes it can even uh, trigger feelings of aggressiveness and frustration in you because your spirit wants to go to that space your spirit wants to move and to be seen in that certain way but right now your spirit feels afraid your spirit doesn't feel big enough to fulfill that space, okay? So you get angry or uncomfortable or you cringe when you see somebody doing things in your North Node way because you want to do that or because you resonate with that in a harmful way because you want to do that and you can't because it's just uncomfortable in general, you just think it's weird because you never experienced it or you can't understand because you, you never went into those areas but your spirit is very interested, your spirit is motivated to go there but sometimes when we, you are motivated but you place a blockage in, your, in front of yourself you get very frustrated, you, you, you can start to hate the representation of that block you're not really hating that, okay? but. That's another point, that's another story. I just want to uh, focus that sometimes people, pleasant and things that share your North Node energy can make, fe can make you feel uncomfortable, uh, irritated, scared, alone. They can have a lot of air and water signs, but you feel you can connect with them because every time you connect with them, you feel weird, you feel uncomfortable, you feel cringe. When you see, let's say you have your North Node in Libra, Right, and you see a lot of people, and you you have that one friend that he 
is always creating new ways to communicate. Yes, sometimes he's gullible, sometimes he's pushed around, sometimes he push others around, sometimes he's fake. Yes, but you feel cringe. You, you be like, I will never do that. I'm so up straight with what I say, or I just connect with the right ones. I'm not over there being a social butterfly, trying to connect with everybody. You say that, but internally, and you also say, oh, it, I feel cringe, I feel cringe, because you wanna do that. Or you wanna do that, and every time you do it, you get lashed back, you feel uncomfortable. People call you out when you do that shit, because your spirit don't know how to do that in the right way. You are still learning, you are still going there. And you can see it, but you're not there yet. So it's at the same time so close, at the same time so far away right so and that happens you feel you get triggered or you feel nervous especially when let's say you have your north node in cancer a cancer sun moon or rising will probably make you make you feel nervous scared or alone or they will manifest especially because they cancers right they will manifest people, places and things, energies, spirits, for you to experience that. Especially if they are a sun sign, they will be like the representation of your north node. Whatever they do, however they express themselves, yes, you might think they don't have it together, you might think something else, but what you feel is probably interest, but you feel scared. You feel attracted, but you don't understand it. If there is a Cancer Moon in this example, they will attract feelings and people, not them, but their friends or their family, they will make you feel weird or they will make you, they will present with situations, hey, you can take your business and do that, but oh, that's too personal or I don't want to rely on my family because it's, it's Cancer on that, uh, on that aspect or but I have to ask my friends for help. See, they are attracting things to make you feel uncomfortable, but at the same time, it's an opportunity for you to go and meet your spiritual path, right? So, and not uh, also going even further, imagine you have your North Node in Cancer, right? Not only Cancers, Sun, Moon and Risings can make you feel uncomfortable, Every cardinal sign can make you feel uncomfortable, right? Because your north node is in cardinal energy. Now, if you have your moon in a cardinal aspect or your Venus as well, you might not feel so uncomfortable. But if you have your north node in um, Gemini, right? Other people who have sun, moon, and rising immutable energy can make you feel uncomfortable as well, right? Especially if you don't, if you have a lot of fixed or cardinal energy to unbalance that, and your north node is immutable energy. Every person that they might not have any sign immutable energy, but if they do something in a mutable way, you feel uncomfortable or you feel cringe or you don't understand, you don't. You, it doesn't fit in your head how that person reached that position by being so mutable. Because your spirit doesn't know how. Your spirit doesn't have the tools. Your spirit didn't go there. It didn't went through those waters. It, your spirit didn't experience in that mutable way. Your spirit experienced in a fixed way. So every time you see somebody doing something on a very mutable way, with no fixed energy, you cringe. You can start to hate that person because you don't understand how that person can be so different from you. Especially if you have a lot of fixed energy because you are fixed on your own way to do it. If you are cardinal, you can get a respect because cardinal energy by default brings uh, loneliness or unrelatability or nervousness. I have a video on the channel talking about that. But yeah, in general, that's the message about North Nodes that sometimes some people, some places, some things in your surroundings on your mind, on your emotions, they can make you feel weird, they can, be fi they, they can make you cringe, they can make you feel even aggressive, uncomfortable, nervous sometimes, and you don't know why, most likely their sun, moon or rising is in your north node, is in your north node house, 
or they are in the sign of your north node or they are in the modality of your north node but that is a more vague concept because it will depend even more on the rest of your elements of your elements like i said you have north node in leo but your moon is in um taurus right so you, you will you and especially because you need to learn how to feel comfortable with the fixed energy you, you already know how to learn you, you already learned through your life how to be comfortable with your north node when somebody who got fixed energy comes in you might feel that weirdness but you're already used to it so you kind of know how to balance and you feel comfortable into uh, relating into participating into north node like energy so then it depends on the rest of your alignments on your experiences maybe you like to jump into your north node you you like that if that person has mars in your north node you might enjoy th that person because they make you th they tease you they provoke you they burn a, a, a fire under your ass and that facilitates you going from your south node to your north node and then if you can make sense out of it you can if you can rewind and like oh that person motivates me to go through my north node and when i go through my north node i develop new and better ways to sustain myself in this reality perfect right but that was just an example that was all for today guys thank you very much for watching you can check my link tree in the description below you have all my content all my pages over there you can check daria's page shout out to daria my beautiful my beautiful partner her page will be in the description below. Huge shout out to the Soul Group as well. Huge shout out to Uriel as well. And you can join my Discord from my uh, gaming channel on Ezosu Gaming on Discord. Or you can request me a link. Or you just can follow the link in the description below as well. But if that link, I think that link uh, is valid for 7 days. If you are watching this video later and you want to be a part of our gaming community, request me for a link and I will glad gladly give you a link so you can enter our discord and know everything and if you want to set up a reading a little chart reading a tarot reading email me at esoteric surfer 69 at gmail.com and until the next time i wish you the best thoughts the best feelings the best ideas and the best emotions i wish you creativity and individuality so you can maintain your sanity until the next time love you Love yourself, enjoy yourself, and there's a direct loud surfer surfing out. Have a nice one.